Hey everybody, today I'm here. I'm gonna explain you how you can upgrade your PHP script memory limit for your WordPress site or any other service that you're running on your website. Basically, it would be uh, you would be allotting more of the RAM space to your PHP scripts wherever it may be it's generally used for wordpress websites and this problem occurs generally when you have exceeded the limits by adding a lot of plugins or you're having substantial amount of traffic both of these things are really great but you have to really make some changes so i'm going to explain you how do you do this in shared hosting environment like the one you see on the screen is about bluehost and you can also do this in uh, other environments such as uh, Hostgator or any other if you just feel like but this is something that's powered by cPanel and This is how you do it first of all you have to scroll down somewhere Below and you have to find this thing called software services to go to PHP config which is the PHP configuration Once you just open this you can see three options here one is PHP 5, second one is PHP 5, that is single PHP INI, the third one is PHP 5 fast CGI. By default, generally PHP 5 is enabled, but you have to change this to PHP 5 single PHP.ini because this is the one that you'd be using. The difference PHP 5 and PHP 5 INI is just having one single difference for a common person that is it would be adding a PHP.ini thing to your public HTML. So, once you have selected this, you have to just save changes. Click this button, it would be done. I've already done it, so um, do it again. Next, you have to come below, you have to see this, install default php.ini. Click on this button. Once you have clicked this button, it's done. Then you have to simply return to your cPanel, and you have to go to the domain, which, uh, you know, the place where you have kept it. To go you can easily go via file manager accepty.com that's my website click and go there will be another window opening you can do a simple search that is php.ini now here you can see it's php.ini.default you have to rename this because it should be php.ini.default okay done now you can download this file to your computer, to your hard disk or you can edit it online whatever you feel like. That was it people, you can know more about by viewing the other videos. Thanks for watching.